Salutations internet, my name is Joseph Ferguson, and if I look extra ugly today, it's because I got a new camera. Man, this camera's so good, you can see all my insecurities. I tuned into the motherfucking greatest. Internet, I've wanted to make this video for a very long time, and I really didn't know how to go about it or how to approach it, but, but the universe gave me a sign and told me, Joseph, you better make this video. Also, stop with the back of the room Joseph bits, they're not... They're not funny. We don't we don't like them. Don't you ever cut me out. And and that topic is being PC, politically correct, saying things in a manner where you don't really offend anybody. And it wasn't just one story that caught my attention, or two, or three, but it was a culmination and a mishmash of a bunch of different stories that I saw, and they all related back to the, to the same PC topic. So like a crazy, unforeseen night out, we're gonna start off tame and then just get wilder as we go. First, the Snapchat filter that people are just really upset about for some reason. It's to remove blemishes, not to whitewash you. The people who get offended by this are the kind of people who get, get offended when someone says they don't like chocolate milk. Oh, so you, you don't like the chocolate milk. I mean, I just don't like the way it tastes. I mean, it's cool if you have it, but I just don't want it in my mouth. Hmm, don't want no chocolate milk. Next is a bit more contentious. It's Blake Lively and she posted a picture on Instagram with the caption, Lay face with an Oakland booty. Now, full disclosure, internet, I love her face and her booty. Well, whether that's a Maine face and a Portland booty or a Brazil face and a Filipino booty, I just look at Blake Lively and I say, I don't know what this is, but it... It works. It really, it, it, it works. Now, now, I'm not going to tell you whether or not to be offended by this because that's your own personal. Oh my god, I am just... I am so hurt by this choice. But what I will say is if you're gonna be offended, at least be offended consistently. And what I mean by that is back in July of 2012, Katy Perry tweeted LA face with an Oakland booty. Back just in August 2015, Khloe Kardashian put a picture on Instagram saying LA face with an Oakland booty. June 19th, 2014, Jonathan Lipnick, you know, the kid from Jerry Maguire, posted a picture LA face with an Oakland booty. So if you hate Blake Lively, you also hate all these other people. You're welcome. Jay Fergal Productions at your service. Now it's time to delve into some topics and ruffle some real feathers. Now normally when you hear someone say you're being too PC, it's someone who sits right of center to someone who sits left of center. You've heard it, you've heard it before. Liberals can't take anything. Mm, liberals, they're so easily uh, offended. Not like us on the right. We're the tough ones. And, and, and mm, I'm gonna have to call bullshit on that claim because I am here to tell you no party has an exclusive right to being uh, 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 offended. Not just this party gets offended and this party is cool with anyone saying whatever they want because that's not true. Didn't conservatives get mad over a Starbucks cup and Neil Patrick Harris forbid anytime snow falls from the, the sky you say ha happy holidays and not merry christmas Ooh. people get offended and lastly the coup d'etat the icing on this pc cake it's got to be hb2 now for the purpose of this next argument i'm going to say the republicans did X, Y, and Z, because in North Carolina, not one the Democrat supported HB2, and every single Republican did. So if you are a Republican, and you have a problem with me, me, me saying, all Republicans did this when they actually did, don't take it up with me, take it up at your next convention party. Now the reason Pat McCrory and the rest of the Republicans said they passed this bill was because they wanted to protect people. They wanted to keep men out of women's bathrooms, and vice versa. And you, you, you know what, an admirable cause, I respect that. I could see that kind of being a law if that actually happened. So I used my quick Google search ability and found seven states that have anti-discrimination laws. Those states are California, Colorado, Connecticut, Delaware, Nevada, Oregon. Nowhere in the South. Hmm. Shocking. Now with their claim saying they had to institute these laws, to combat rape and molestation, it would be fair to assume that if you had a law saying you can't discriminate against somebody, rape and molestation would be up higher than the national average. And what do you know, internet? In those seven states I mentioned, the rates are no higher than anywhere else. So Pat, literally all you are doing is disenfranchising a group of, of people and, and, and costing your state money. Money, the DOJ, Department of Justice, is keeping four billion dollars from your state. PayPal just pulled out, out of Charlotte, and Maroon Five just canceled two shows in your state. You know how, how the kids love Maroon Five, Pat. Why would you do it? I don't understand how this makes me a dirty liberal. You made a claim. I looked at the facts to see if that claim was true, and it turns out to be not. I'm a dirty liberal. I'm someone who looks at stats. That's 
That's what I am. So guys, super main ultimate point of this video, I guess, is there's an entire spectrum of things to be offended by. The, that Snapchat thing was really like, why would you be offended by that kind of deal? The Blake Lively thing was, I guess, in the middle. I don't know. You could be offended by it, but it's not gonna like put a damper on, on anybody's life. And then we have what the head of the, the, the Department of Justice called the new Jim Crow laws over in North Carolina. I talked a lot in this video. I know it was kind of long. If you made it to the end, I'm proud of you. 27 internet points for you. But in, but in the comment section down below, let me know how you feel about peace. See, let me know how you feel about it, anything I said in this video. But my name is Joseph Ferguson, and I'm really excited about this new camera. All my videos are going to look so much sexier now. Hmm.